This is the second mass shooting we've had in the past month. I think these birth pains are starting to get stronger. But for whatever it's worth, they don't even surprise me anymore. But let's get into it. October 29th, 2023. A fight between two groups turned deadly in Tampa when a shooting during Halloween festivities resulted in two dead, including a 14 year old and 18 people hospitalized early Sunday morning. At least one person was in custody after he turned himself in following the shooting in Tampa just before 3 a.m. on the 1600 block of East 7th Avenue in Ybor City area. Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkhoff stated, and I quote, our victim count is at 18 and we have two deceased, a 14 year old and a 22 year old. Tyrell Stephen Phillips, 22, was arrested following several tips received by police. He was charged with second degree murder and appeared in court this past Monday. The fight occurred in an area with several bars and clubs where there were large numbers of late night revelers in the area at the time, Burkhoff said. Police were not immediately sure if the people were involved in the fight were inside any of the bars before the shooting. They had hundreds of innocent people involved that were in the way, and at least 50 Tampa police officers were sent to the scene where they say most of the victims were between the ages of 18 and 27. The video posted online shows people in Halloween costumes drinking and talking on the street when shots rung out, creating a stampede. <laughs> Also have a steel frame of one of the alleged shooters. Check this out. About a dozen shots rang out, followed a few seconds later by a volley of about eight shots. <laughs> Detective Burkhoff said, and I quote, it was a disturbance or a fight between two groups. And in this fight between two groups, we had hundreds of innocent people involved that were in the way, end quote. He did not provide details of the injuries suffered by the victims taken to the area hospitals. But police do say two guns were recovered from the scene, one of which was stolen, and they're continuing to investigate the possibility of other suspects. Tonight, Tampa police say they're looking for two more shooters, and they're hoping that you may be able to help identify them. Police, police tell us this is one of the most complicated and complex investigations in quite some time, due in large part to the sheer size of it. Tonight, we've learned there were three alleged shooters involved. One, of course, is under arrest. Two remain out there. Currently, 22-year-old Tyrell Phillips is the lone face of Sunday's Ebor shooting, which killed two and left 16 injured. But Tuesday, investigators revealed he's not the only alleged trigger man. They're looking for two more. Based upon the analysis of all the evidence we've done over the past couple days, we do believe that there were at least uh, two additional shooters. So we are looking for um, one to two additional shooters, and that is why we're reaching out to the public and requesting their assistance on trying to identify these individuals. Tuesday, police also made it easier for the public to reach out with video and tips, partnering with the FBI on a web portal where you can discreetly submit video evidence. So far, investigators say they're combing through dozens and dozens of clips of the chaos, including some which seem to show other attendees with guns, like this man running from the scene. We are in possession of some video that does show other individuals armed in Ybor City. Uh, those we live in a day and time where people don't fight no more. They shoot. They'd rather pull a gun first before they try to throw hands. And maybe, maybe I was raised different, but that's not the way a man should go about a situation. Protect yourself if somebody's trying to harm you with a weapon. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. But if somebody's trying to fight you, and you choose to pull out a gun and shoot them, that's very cowardly in my book. And who taught these young boys how to shoot? I mean, who, who shoots blindly in a crowd like that? If you're gonna carry your weapon, carry it responsibly and learn how to keep your temperament in check. But rest in peace to the two young men who lost their lives, condolences to their family. 
off a speedy recovery for the other 18 people who was injured. But y'all know what it is, man. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Hate on me if you want to. But it ain't gonna stop nothing. I'm out.